Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior and welcome to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. Now in today's topic and discussion, I wanted to talk about something I haven't really touched on before and that is what exactly are the Titans? As they seem to be a completely new thing in the Mortal Kombat universe and honestly, I do really want to talk about them as I do find them as very interesting deities that now exist in the Mortal Kombat universe. Now first off, before we actually start talking about what the Titans are, Let's talk about where the Titans derive from and how exactly do they fit into the Mortal Kombat universe. Well, the Titans as deities seemingly have existed far beyond what the Elder Gods were, being their predecessors and clearly their superiors, as it seems like their ability to control certain events seem to far exceed that of a Elder God, so in that respect the Titans seem far stronger. On top of this, we know that from the existence of Cetrion, but not only did the Elder Gods derive from Titans, but they themselves might in fact be the children of other titans. But that's of course me assuming that that is the point, since we are all aware that Kronika is Cetrion's mother. Now let's actually talk about how ancient the titans are, because as you see in the original timeline, before there was life there was simply the void, the endless pit of empty space. Now eventually the one being would come into existence, as well as the elder gods, and because the one being feasted on the energy of the elder gods, the deities would battle it out, and with the assistance of the Kami Dogu, the one being would be defeated and his consciousness would be separated. From here it would create the realms and inevitably the Mortal Kombat universe and world that we come to know. So because of the one being's defeat at the hands of the Elder Gods, it breathed life to an entire universe. But in the new timeline, with the existence of Titans, it could mean so so much more. The universe has clearly been expanded and things have been altered and changed for this new continuity. You see at the end of Mortal Kombat 11 story, mode, Fire God Liu Kang and Kronika rewind time so far back they're actually at the very start of this timeline. Meaning that yes, what we see here at the very end of MK11 is in fact the void. So this is where Kronika created this timeline and this universe. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because although the One Being and the Elder Gods are ancient, it's very clear from Kronika here that she is a being that predates all of this. And maybe being the Keeper of the Hourglass, it allows her to to be ageless, which is something that I also believe applies to the other titans, seeing as they are the predecessors of the Elder Gods. Now if this is the case with her existing at the very start of time, then I think it wouldn't be crazy to possibly believe that the One Being may in fact be a titan, but of course that is just an idea. Now another thing that actually separates the titans from the Elder Gods is seemingly their powers and capabilities. From what we have seen of gods and even an Elder God at this point, is that the ability Abilities are elemental. For Raiden it's thunder, for Fujin it is wind, and for Cetrion it does seem to be an amalgamation of elements, being wind, water, fire, and earth. The only god that I can think of that does somewhat break this trend is Shinnok. Although it's never stated that he's like the god of death, it is strongly insinuated that he is. But this could in fact be a little bit of his titan heritage coming through. You see, Kronika is the keeper of time. She naturally has the ability to manipulate it at her own will. So because of this, I like to think it's quite natural to assume that Titan's capabilities far exceed that of an Elder God, especially seeing as their capabilities tends to manipulate the fabric of reality. Now I know it's quite a bold assumption to make, but in every instance during an arcade ladder ending where someone has absorbed Kronika's power, they obtain a form of godhood that modifies their power. And a perfect example of this is none other than Noob Cybot. Once he gains Kronika's hourglass, he basically becomes death. Now the Titans as a whole are very interesting individual, and I think their vagueness adds a form of mystique that the universe has most certainly been lacking, especially with them now playing more of an active role in the universe. That's always been my major gripe with the Elder Gods. Despite their roles in the universe and apparent sheer power, they for the most part did remain inactive, whereas now we have the introduction of the Titans, and it seems like they're going to be playing more of an active role in this universe, which is something that does interest me, and I really do hope that in the future, this idea is expanded on. Because although elemental beings are cool, it'd be interesting to see our heroes tackle characters that are far beyond that of the Elder Gods. But yes, that is currently everything we know about the Titans in the Mortal Kombat universe. So what are your thoughts on the Titans? And would you like to see another Titan appear as the big bad in Mortal Kombat 12? Please do let me know. But yeah guys, that's kind of it for now. So before this video wraps up, if possible, let's try getting it to about 500 likes. It's a great way of supporting this channel since YouTube's ads 
system is broken as hell. So by giving it a thumbs up, it helps out a ton. And also, don't forget to ring that bell, as it will notify you when I do upload a video. So yeah, guys, as always, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care, and I'll see you all next.